Oh, welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. Today I'm going to show you how to change the batteries in a, a voltage detector. And this is the Greenlee voltage detector. This, these are getting weak and it takes um, two AAA batteries. I thought it was a discount, but it actually takes two AAA batteries. So let me just show you what it does. And it's kind of weak, but you know, you get your on and off switch here. And when it's in your pocket, it's going to be pushing it into the off position, which is good so you don't weigh your battery out. But basically, when you put it up against a wire, there's a little light in here that will flash, and it will um, have an audible beep to it, letting you know that that line is live and hot, and you don't want to be messing around with it. So let me just show you real quick. We just got here the line going to a table saw just to make it simple. Normally, we'd use this like in the wall or uh, see if you have a power to a line you're getting ready to mess with, or you can use it. You can even stick it into an outlet, a wall outlet. I'll show you that. But you see, if I get up close, you can probably hear it, and it's flashing. So there's power in that line. And let me just show you in an outlet situation here. I'm saying an outlet, but it's a power strip and nothing there. And you can probably hear it there. So it also tells you the power side too. You can make sure things are wired correctly. Um, but this used to be a lot louder. It's getting really weak. So I want to change out the batteries. And uh, that's what we're about to show you. So let's uh, get right to that and get some new batteries in this thing. So I'll just go ahead and put it in the off position and then I usually hold the off thing up when I do this because you're going to put a little screwdriver in here and just gently tip the screwdriver which is going to pop this head loose and again you don't want to force it you're just going to tip it like that it just clips on there just a little tiny bit and you can let go of that button and just gently wiggle the cap off until it comes out uh, you want to be careful there's two very small um, leads right there that go into the cap to you know make the the complete circuit for the batteries and then of course you're just going to go ahead and dump out your two old batteries and of course dispose of them properly or however you want um, but we got some two new ones here uh, four new ones we only need two of course and hopefully you'll see and hear a difference in the sound now with this thing here when you're using this, I always um, check it in a spot that I know there's power first. Like I'll plug something in, turn it on, make sure there's power, check this to make sure it's working before I go and start just using this and say, oh, it's not going off, there's no power. I want to make darn sure this is working properly before I go and use it in a spot that I really need to be reliable. Uh, so I just sucked those in there, but I took them back out to show you. In this particular unit here, the positive side goes in first. Uh, with both batteries, you just slide it down in there and slide that one down in. That's all there is to it. And then you can see the cover here has the two spots where those uh, wire leads go up inside this. And of course, your little clip part that clips back into the proper position. And you're just going to set that on there gently like that. Push down. And you should hear it pop in like that. And now you're locked back in and you should be good to go. So let's see if this is louder. Let's let's just find out. All right, we're back over here at the um, table saw wire, and I got the thing turned off at the moment here. It's in the off position, and we'll go ahead and turn it on in the on position, and then, well, it's louder and it's beeping a lot fast, uh, blinking a lot faster. So it definitely made a difference. So hopefully you can hear that. And, like I said, you can use it in outlets as well. It's dark right here, but no power on that side. And power on that side there. Uh, there's several applications for this. Let's say a tool's not working. You want to make sure it's getting power through the wire. You can hold it up to the wire and see if there's actually power going to it. So you know there is power uh, going to this tool. So there are several different applications you can use this for. Uh, but uh, as you can see, this is the green line voltage detector. It'll do 50 to 1,000 volts AC. And I guess that's really about all there is to it. Let's see if there's any more in here. Yeah, see the reason it says right there, test on a known line circuit before use. In other words, uh, known, known live circuit. So make sure you know you have a live circuit. Make sure this is working before you're using it in the application that's super important. And I guess that's just uh, like a serial number or a model number right there, if that helps you. 
if you want to get one of these. I'll put a link for this in the description too, or one close. I've had this thing for a long time, so they may not have this exact model still available. Maybe they do. I'll find out. If so, I'll put a link for it down in the description. So, uh, yeah, if yours goes dead or it sounds weak, I highly recommend putting new batteries in it so you are good to go and have a good working tool. These are not tools you want to mess around with as far as, you know, trying to get all you can out of the battery. Just get some good batteries in it uh, so you can lower the chances of yourself getting electrocuted. Now, uh, remember, I'm not responsible for anything you do. This is an entertainment video only. Um, you know, if you're not sure, then seek a professional to... Uh, do the task for you. Have a great day. Thanks for swinging by Shane's Main Shop, and we'll see you in the next video.